Okay, we're about to uh, tour my park here. I'm going to just go right down the middle here. Because that's all I've made. I've made this stuff down the middle. Over that way is a is a blue is a blue roller coaster. In this space over this blank space over here, I'm going to build a movie theater. Not a real one because the guests won't go go inside. But we'll just build the exterior. The idea here was to kind of make each ride have its own theme or its own built uh, its own building on the outside for the queues so there's a kind of a mishmash of themes going on here there's a lot of people in my park Clipping through buildings while recording because it doesn't look right. But the main thing I want to show you guys is this. Oops. Recognize this? If that said space paranoids on it, you probably recognize would recognize this. I tried to create. Flynn's Arcade from the movie Tron, and of course Tron Legacy, as best as I could using just the assets that's available to us right now. And yeah, that's at the end of my, my uh, main street. Seeing as we got some time because YouTube allows 15 minutes. Ride the coaster. Ooh, perfect. It's on the lift hill. A long lift hill. <laughs> if we got time, we'll ride the other coaster too. I have two of them. I have a red one and a blue one. If I could name them, I call I would call this one Big Red. Because it's a big coaster. It's in all this is all in one corner of my park, essentially this one coaster. The other coaster is kind of the same way. It's kind of scrunched up into one corner. But uh, This might be scrunched up into one corner, but it takes up a lot of space in that one corner. <laughs> As you will see, when it goes around the track. Almost there. I turned the park boundary off so it would look better when recording. Otherwise, you would see it right next to this track.
most of them make it up the second hill. That's why I had to dip down so soon is because I was worried it wasn't going to make it up that second hill. I was like, oh, let's have it go down now. Anyways, the re reason I have the first hill do a gentle slope before it goes up into the second hill is I didn't want a huge jarring uh, sensation. As it is, there's plenty of places on this coast that would have a jarring sensation when you're going up. Same thing here, I was worried it wouldn't make it all the way up, so I started going right back down again. this park Dizzy Whirl. As a pun, of course. Say I try to make gentle turns when you get to the bottom. In this case, the top. It's a gentle turn. The rest of this is just basically bunny hills. making this station it was fun definitely a lot more fun than that <coughs> that other game I shall not mention that other game I have that other game and that other game is not as versatile as this I mean look at all these different buildings I made Forget modular building system, this this is much better. This is build one wall at a time building system, but it, it was worth the effort of going through and making each building by hand one wall at a time. But yeah, right here I'm going to put like an art deco style movie theater using just the assets in the game, not 
downloading anything new or anything like that. Just using what's available in the game to make a nice Art Deco movie theater right here in this spot. In this em big empty space from here to there. I'm even going to do the interior. I'm going to make like use white uh, walls for the movie screen. And use, uh, let's see if there's a red path. There is, that'll solve my, that problem. Oh, yeah, there is a red path. And we use that for the carpeting up and down the aisles. Not sure what we're going to use for seats. We're just going to wing that. <laughs> but anyways yeah here's my other coaster and it needs this needs editing because I've realized that it's floating off the ground a little bit <laughs> so I got to get rid of these bottom walls which are half walls and make them full walls oh well live and learn I do that now, but there's not a whole lot of time on the video left. We could ride this coaster, but I want to fix it and uh, fix the building by editing it. And I like this station design I made because it, it looks like a it looks like a book, an open book on top of the uh, station. And of course, back, <laughs> a back, a back area for the uh, for the main uh, for the first food building. I wanted that to, that to represent the staff entrance entrances and uh, AC units. Well, actually, they're AC and heating units, is what they are. And yeah, every now and then, one of the windows will become see-through, and you'll see and you'll see inside the building, even though you're not supposed to, because there's nothing in there except for these shops. There's a, the hat shop, the cosmic cow drink shop, and the chief beef burger shop, and of course restaurants. I wanted to have restrooms at the very front of the park because usually they're hard to find otherwise. <clears throat> I, I liked what I did here. Basically it said, hey let's make this look like a little backyard. So I made the fence looked like, you know, like a little uh, a wooden picket fence. It's the wrong color. It's not a white picket fence, but <laughs> I figured close enough. 